So for some context, if you don't know, Tamar Braxton was on a reality show that I didn't watch where she met a white man, I think that's important, who proposed to her. She's been in this relationship, girl, I don't know how long, months. And he recently came out with a statement that no one asked him for, where he explained um, he was looking for peace and that he broke up with Tamar. He did that on purpose. Um, and then he was seen out with Tommy Lee and I think Tommy Lee and Tamar having gotten along for whatever reason, maybe just on the internet. I don't think they know each other in real life. I think something happened on the internet. You know, people give their opinions and then people, you know, especially, we're gonna get into this more, especially people like Tamar, personalize things. And after he was seen with Tommy Lee out in public at a, I think it was a basketball game, he was seen with Tamar at some point Point. And I think she had tried on a interview or something to clean up the fact that she took him back or she needed certain things to be in place before she could take him back. Um, I, I, I like to use celebrities as an opportunity for you to explore in your own life. In what ways are you enacting some type of desperation or are not living up to your full potential of embracing, embodying, giving love? because there's there's so much here hey welcome to my channel this is spirit soul sense information for your soul i am dr Charisse, and i highly recommend the book women who love too much to women who are in codependent or toxic or abusive relationships i think you can clearly see from the way tamar is living her life that she has been in a series of abusive relationships her mom came out and said that when she was in her marriage with vince that he was physically abusive to her tamar has shared with us that in a relationship prior to Vince that she was physically assaulted by the person she was dating. I have been a follower of the Braxtons for quite some time since they did their reality show because I also have four sisters and it was just really cool watching uh, celebrity five sisters together. Um, one of their sisters has died, but a lot of the dynamics within each of them remain the same. I think death gives us an opportunity to live an even fuller, joyful life. And maybe some of them have taken that on, but Tamar is still in struggle. If you were ever wondering what low self-esteem and insecurity look like in a woman, you can look at the quality of the men that she's dated or the type of treatment that she's consistently stayed in and has made okay as a reflection of that. Tamar has low self-esteem. She has probably had low self-esteem since she was a child. If you've seen the dynamics um, between her and her siblings, if you watched the episode where Ayanla came on and Tony was basically saying who Tamar is as a person, she's never quite liked. She didn't say it like that, but that is definitely how Tamar received it. I, girl, I cannot imagine um, my sisters not liking me or saying that something was wrong with me because of my personality. But I imagine that is such a trauma. That, in addition to the type of codependent relationship that the mother had with the father, and I know that's what it was because he was cheating for years and then left her, okay? It takes a certain woman to stay with a man who consistently cheats on you. It's different if a man makes a, mis a mistake. It, cheating is not really a mistake, but it's not a deal breaker for me. But if it occurs one time because there is some conflict that's happening in the relationship, that is one scenario. But a man who is a cheater, who consistently cheats or has had uh, a mistress, right, over several years, and you have made it okay by not doing anything about it, by not saying anything about it, um, even if you have fights about it, you're not doing anything about it. You have had low standards, low boundaries, um, across time years for your children to see such that they also enter in relationships where they are not valued or appreciated. In the book Women Who Love Too Much, the author talks about the cycle of chaos that continues and the dance that two people have to do, right? You have to be in agreement that this is the nonsense that we are going to continue. So when you look at Tamar and this white man who has, I think, five or six children um, between three different women, right? He is not the catch of the day. There's no way you're going to convince me that a man who has three baby mamas is a catch. To me, it just shouts irresponsibility and lack of commitment. Um, in addition to, you know, him having this codependent way of interacting with people. So maybe he has one of those savior complexes that he's trying to let go of. 
um, Tamar, maybe she also, right? Because you can go back and forth with the person that you're with and who plays the savior mode, who plays the victim mode. Um, but certain things like having to prove yourself. I think in one of his posts that nobody asked him for, he was making it seem like Tamar had to do certain things to win him back. You know, I'm not saying that there cannot be a beautiful grand gesture done after you make a mistake. But if you look over time, there's a series of events that have happened with Tamar and this gentleman. So there's a pattern here where there is some peace. They probably have peace only for a couple of days. And then there's a chaotic event or some kind of injustice or personal affront that a person feels. And then there is a series of chaotic events or back and forths that happen before usually there is a sexual experience that helps to diffuse the tension and then there's a period of peace again. They haven't talked about their sex life, but I know from working with many, many women, from reading this book, from having my own personal experience, that the sex in these relationships is often amazing, like mind blowing, so good. So for Tamar, part of the process is stopping the cycle at any one of the points not getting hooked into the games that she's playing with this person by focusing on herself. So much of the healing work that I do with folks and what I recommend here on my channel centers around focusing on yourself, honestly, because it will always be you. At the end of the day, the only person that you can change is you. As hard as you might want to work on somebody else, you can't fix him, girl, no you can't. And so the best thing you can do is to become the best version of yourself. So I would recommend to Tamar, please read this book. This book will help you point out the patterns in your life, the patterns from childhood that have caused the emotional regulation. And it's not to blame parents for what they did. Sure, you can ascribe some responsibility to them, but at the end of the day, you are the one that is responsible for your own healing. I'm not sure how long Tamar has been single, but it's one of the things I recommend strongly to folks that I'm working with, that you take a period of time where you are not focused on somebody else, especially when it's in that early get to know you stage, do away with that period of time and focus all of that energy and attention on yourself. What is keeping you up at night? What are the thoughts that are constantly racing through your mind? How can you improve your self-esteem? You can go on the Googles and look for that. How do I improve my self-worth? What do I need to do? Do I need to sign up with a therapist? Do I need to bring up this topic with a therapist that I already have? You are the one that has to do the work to improve your self-esteem so that you do not end up in situations like this where you are just taking any piece of a man who is not even parenting. If you look, if you take what the baby mamas are saying, who is not even parenting at the level that he should based on the history and the ages of all these kids in all these homes, okay? But you have to get to a point where you feel like peace and abundance and joy feels more familiar and comfortable than toxicity and chaos, which is no easy feat, right? I'm wishing Tamar all the best in her journey. I really hope someone in her life slides her, you know, the title of this book, because if you want to do the work, I really do think you have to do the investing. You have to buy this book yourself. You have to say, yes, I want to change. Yes, I want to heal. And then invite peace level 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 into your life. Let me know what you think about this topic. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. What else? Share this video with someone you think it may help and thank you for watching.